All right, away we go. Yeah, stay right there. Stay behind that, that rope. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm out here again with Eric Mike Tree. How's it going, Eric? Good morning. Very good. How are you? Good. Uh, okay, so this video in the title should be something about how this is the rain session that you should have before your big golf trip. So, Eric, I was talking about how... Um, all right, so it's before somebody is having a big golf trip, kind of the, the ability to make a big swing change is gone now, and they really want to be able to start sharpening whatever skills they already have. So we're gonna kind of follow along. I have a big golf trip starting later today. So uh, we're gonna be, kind of be following along what, er, what you would do kind of before a big trip to Hawaii or wherever else that you're playing tournaments. Um. When I was playing full time, I would try to get in a session the day before a tournament. Okay. And work on stuff. And what it turned into was a technical session that I would then try to bring to tomorrow's competitive round. And I would stink. So my wife recognized the trend and she said, You're not allowed to practice before the day before a tournament. She gave me a $20 bill send me to Lowe's, buy two by fours and lumbers, get in my garage and build something. In other words, don't, for me, don't go practice the day before because I would then go try to do what I was practicing from a technical standpoint. And I would get involved and I'd just wreck it during the round. So, so what I discovered was for me not to put attention into working on something technically rather than just hitting shots like I was going to play the golf course that I would be playing tomorrow. So I'd stand here with a bucket of balls and I would go through the first hole and I'd hit driver then I'd hit a wedge. Then I'd go to the second tee and I'd hit whatever it would be. So I'd, I'd play more of tomorrow's round of golf on the driving range, just going through the bag, looking at targets, responding to what I think the golf course is going to be tomorrow, rather than like working on my swing from a technical standpoint. So would you have to be really disciplined with yourself? not to hit like two three shots in a row yeah 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 <coughs> excuse me i would i would let it go <coughs> excuse me Sorry. um i'd whatever whatever shot i would hit <coughs> it's all right, it's all right. <coughs> i didn't bring any water you can so. take care of that right mm -hmm. <coughs> you want to ask a question again yeah go ahead yeah so you would have to be really disciplined with yourself to not hit a bad shot and then drop another ball and go, hey, let me try that again. Yeah, because I'm do, doing that, we end up chasing the last shot. And obviously in a golf course, in a tournament or uh, competitive round, we don't want to chase the last shot. We just want to go to the next thing. So when I'd be doing it here, if I had my wedge and I'm hitting a 135 yard shot and I hit it 20, 30 feet to the right, on the golf course, if I hit a shot from 135 yards, 25 feet, it's not that bad. But on the driving range, it looks we're bad. like, oh yeah. my gosh, what's wrong yeah. with my swing? And then we keep trying to fix it. So I'd, I'd put myself from the driving range onto the tomorrow's golf course, and there's, there's a big part of accepting the result of the shot while you play, because for me, I've got the next shot, so I'd never worry about it. And that 25 footer that I hit on the range that I'm not happy with, well, on the golf course tomorrow, I can make that 25 footer for birdie. So I, I don't get too discouraged or too involved in not hitting everything exactly how I want to while I practice before a, a competitive round. I just say, hey, that's what it is. Keep going. What would you like to see me do first, Eric? As we're going to get into this kind of pre pre trip practice session, what would you like to see me pull out and do first? Um, we'd, we'd start with. Uh, you know, if our body's warmed up, we'd start with driver. You know, if we went to this golf course here, we'd say, hey, it's a dog leg left to right. We'd hit out, take out driver, and we'd see how it goes. And we'd even, if you didn't hit a good one, we'd say, okay, you're down the left side and you got 290 and we got to lay up. So then I'd take a seven iron and just chip it down the fairway. And All right, well, let's do that. You can kind of stand back here and be the judge of the shot and also kind of my caddy and hand me the clubs you think I would need. And we'll kind of... Um, play around on the course, huh? Yeah. So we'd, we'd pick targets, and I'd tell you there's a 
there's a tree let's see so you're set up about there so at that yellow flag yeah and the little pine tree left of it I'd say take it at that pine tree and just let it let it fall to the right a little bit okay I see this yellow flag and then the pine tree that's on the range yeah on the range oh so that one okay uh-huh yeah. all right fall left a little bit yeah Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it just it, it gets you into being able to pick a target and respond to it without going through a bunch of technical things. So what would be next? Uh, from there, because it's early in the morning, we probably have about 285. So I'm going to say we want to hit about 165, 170 yard shot. Just okay. You know, on this particular hole, it's kind of, you know, want to hit a little bit low and just chip it down the fairway. So I'm going to pick that same tree, right? Yeah, I'll hit that same tree. 165? Sure. A little low? Yeah, a little low. The fairways right now, you know, they, they have a little bit of pace to them. So, you know, that 165 will get out to 180 or so. Oh, I yanked it pretty badly. <laughs> That's in uh, somebody's pool, so. Uh, so maybe you'll hit, it, hit yeah. that one again. First one's a Titleist one. That's a provisional Titleist two. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's early, folks. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So now, like a wet shot, huh? Yeah. So we just we can pick a whole location on the green it doesn't really matter where it is and you know we could say it's going to be about a 115 yard shot so okay. you can you can pick a, a target you know one of these flags you can you could pick maybe we go to that blue flag over there and you know and you can even you know wherever the whole location is you can say well i want to be 15 feet left of this this particular flag yeah, or you can do that all right so i'm going to aim 15 feet left of that flag there so definitely good like wherever you're going to be going like grab the scorecard from that spot or whatever or, yeah and most you know and most look at places it. you've been you've played the course before right so you can kind of picture remember. it yeah if you haven't you can even make it up it's not that important to to play the exact course it's just getting out here hitting shots Yeah. Yeah. Just, just little thin to be off the back. Yeah. See, I want to just rake and hit another one. But okay, <laughs> let's go to the next hole. Yeah. Uh, so next hole here is a par three. It's about 185. Yeah. So you can pick that black flag out there, right of the yellow. And it's just it's getting an image of what you want your golf ball to do and picking a target to to go at and letting it go you know some some get real into a routine i don't, I don't have a big routine uh yet i do the exact same thing every yeah, time I'm sure but if you timed it'd be the same yeah, yeah it's not a big mental process that i go through it's just it's like getting into your car in the morning there's no routine but i bet you do the exact same thing every time Yeah, decent right. swing. A little right, not too bad. Yeah, so we can even go there. You know, if we say you miss the green to the right, uh -huh. you can take a ball and just hit a little, a little pitch, right towards this yellow flag that might be in the air for about ten yards. Yeah. Yeah, because one of the things, kind of like that, uh, Bryson DeChambeau made me think about, was. Um, when you're hitting the same shot from the same posture all the time, there's something to having all these different lengths every time, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's next, Eric? Uh, remember that low driver we worked on? Yeah. In December. Uh -huh. So the third hole here has got a pretty good elevated tee. So we're just going to tee driver down just a little bit and just hit a kind of a low pinch 
similar shape and that's you know for me I can say similar shape is the first hole because I like my driver going a little left to right you can pick whatever shape you want okay. you know but we'll go we'll go right at that little pine tree we've been going at yep <clears throat> and then you put parameters up on each side of what the fairway might look like as far as width and you know and you can kind of design your own thing it doesn't have to be a real rigid session it's just not technical yeah Yeah. That's good. Okay, let's stay on the left side. On the left side, probably have about 120 yards, so okay. you can pick whatever target you like that might look 120. It doesn't always have to be one of these flags. It maybe, could be a that white flag there. Yeah, it could be a hill or just at a tree that's going to go 120. Very good. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah, we just, we want to be free with the day before sessions. We're yeah, just, the, we want the, to free everything up and have some fun. and. It's a mix of freedom and discipline, though. It's, it's, it's yeah, because it, that would be kind of like, because if, because if I just wasn't disciplined, I would just, because of the way I am, I would start getting technical, like, right away. You know? Yeah. 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 On the first bad shot. On the first bad shot, we want to fix it right away. Well, yeah. what what happens on the golf course? You hit one bad, you start to you start to fix it in your head. And you even see guys on tour, they kind of walking down the fairway and they hold the club up and they see where they're, you know, like, well, where did I mess it up? It's like your swing is fine. Yeah, right. See, so got nothing to do with it. What's next after that one? So we're on the green there. Yeah. So we got a you know a birdie putt of whatever, and then we just go to the next hole, par par five, and this this one we can we can let it go okay. so you can you know you can pick that big pine tree left of the little one and the fairway is kind of kind of big not a whole lot of trouble out there so the only chance for me to get home in two because it's a little bit uphill is to freaking smash it so it's probably the only hole on this golf course that I that I let this thing go okay Good one. That'd be in the right rough just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. And then we just want to chase something up the fairway with probably a hybrid. Yeah. Just free yourself up, guys. The day before a tournament or a vacation round, you know, you're going there to have fun. We don't want to go there and, and work golf, you know, from, right. from, as a professional or just a recreation player with the buddies. And we're trying to have fun but if we if we bring a bunch of technical stuff to our trip boy what a what a headache the, okay so the, the pine tree that we've been the littler one yeah and we're in the rough so we're just gonna not gouge it out but we're just gonna chase it out of there and scoot it up the fairway that's fine yeah, it's the same thing maybe a little bit of a higher pitch shot yeah, we'll probably we chase it up this, so we probably have about 65, 70 yards, so we can go right at this yellow flag. And then you start to get into a, a rhythm. That's one of the things that, that makes public golf and like super slow golf so difficult sometimes. You yeah, know? yeah. Right and it, it's important playing competitive, and you know, for me as I get back going again, trying to get rounds under my belt and you hear you know you hear the guys talk about it a lot good one about getting your reps in there's you know there's two things there's getting the technical reps in when you're making changes and building something mm -hmm. and there's getting the reps of the round so you can you can get the flow of of the how your body feels when you play mm -hmm. the, the momentum the little things you, you want to change and work on and I, I got to play two is it times a driver last week. Or is it's a part three now uh, it's par par four. Okay. Cool. So what were you saying? You got to play what? Yeah, I played twice last week, and you know I hadn't played in a while. But just from the the first round to the next round, you know, it felt it's like yeah, I was here yesterday. So <laughs> yeah, I got right. some, I got yeah. a little momentum. Yeah. You know, so uh, it it's important to. What goes on here? Uh, we want it straight. This goes a, 
ideal ball flight here is a little right to left. Yeah. Uh, so if you got that in your bag this morning, great. If not, if it's not comfortable, then all right, you can go left. All right, start at the little tree and then try to draw it from there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that one was better. Yeah. I I don't hit a I don't hit a fade very well. Very oh, much. you don't. The, the, oh. Yeah, those ones are kind of. Cool, man. Those look are, good. Are, are, the the fades before, yeah, that's right. yeah, not my normal anyway. Uh, okay, so I'm in the fairway, so yep. pretty deep. So we got a little nine iron. What hole are we on? Uh, five. Five. Okay. Yeah. And you can go, we we'll go about 150 yards. Um, uh, okay, it, so I'll go in line with the black. You can go in line with the black. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, really good. Great. Eric, I, I talked to a, a different Eric. This guy, Eric Alpenfels, who's the lead instructor or director of instruction for Pinehurst, mm -hmm. does a lot of golf research. And I've been hitting better iron shots because he said he's seen across the handicaps, across everyone, that when you take, you know, your intermediate target back here, so say like I'm gonna hit of a shot to that black flag, right? So I got my intermediate target is like right here. Right. He said that they did a study of like hundreds of golfers and when people then they find that intermediate target and then they never look up again right they go here and they're, they're just going to hit that ball starting over this thing uh-huh they they end up hitting it like five percent or so closer right it's just it's just uh, something i've been trying just interesting yeah it's, uh, but it's very some people just can't do it because you no, really I, you'd be over it and you just hit over that but you really want to look up i can't that you wouldn't be able to trust that especially no. for money because it's a uh, it's for me i've i've tried it and, oh, you tried that? Yeah, yeah. and it, uh, it'd be like like when you drive your car, yeah. you're staring at your hood ornament <laughs> right, and then right. navigating the road. For me, yeah. that's how yeah. I'm processing the, the picture. So I'm always, I like the target in the picture. Because that helps you visualize. That's what I'm yeah. responding to. All right, so I'm on the green, and now we're going to sixth. Now we're going to sixth of part three. Okay. Yeah. Which is? Which is about 165, so maybe a little Pretty seven good. iron. Mm -hmm. and that's a good thing you have here is a grass range. Yeah. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? This, uh, the facility at the Golf Club of Rancho California is... It's pretty good. I mean, this. I mean, look at this view. Obviously, yeah. Uh, it's one of the best in Southern California. Uh, but it's a it's a huge range. They keep the grass in great shape. The short game facility, which is available to everybody, uh, two bunkers. You can get up to about a seventy yard shot from that back corner. But like there, there's a there's a kind of a difference between practicing and like being ready for a golf trip, and all you've done is like hit off the mats. Yeah. And then when you go to the grass, because especially some kind of mats, they can give you kind of a forgiving slide. Mm -hmm. Like you hit it slightly fat, but you kind of like slide into it. Yeah. And it actually has a pretty pure feeling mm -hmm. when you do that. Oh, that you it. will not, you'll just lay the side over if you try to do that with yeah. grass. Huh? Yeah. All right, so 165 to that, you like that green and black flag there? Yeah, okay. that's fine. Now, do you recommend even for like, you know, say like a, like a five handicap or a 10 handicap, having a shape in mind? Or just the target? Uh, yeah, you can have a shape in mind, sure. I'm gonna try to hit a draw to that, yep. that green and black. The, the shape could be whatever whatever fits your eye. The shape can change, yep. It's, it's just freeing it up. Is that on the green? Yep. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean you can you can do it however you want to do it. Right. It's there's there's no rules. It's just getting away from a technical session. So the only rules would be like 
don't get hard on yourself. No. Don't hit lots of different shots. Uh, uh, repeat the same shot. Yeah, don't repeat. You know, you can you can take a break in your session after you play five or six holes. I'm just gonna imagine that's on the fringe. Yeah. Okay, so now we're on eight, right? Yeah. We're cruising. Another driver. Can smash it. What does this hole do? Is that dog leg left with? trouble on the left oh no we're on eight we're on seven we just did the par three yeah so we're in seven we're on seven yeah okay. so it's a short par four up the hill we can go let's go three wood okay okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna aim at that brown house in between those two okay trees be in like the rocks and dirt over there yeah up in the trees or the fairway bunker all right so what do you think uh, am i punching out or yeah let's punch out okay yeah just let's say we got about 130 yards and we got to keep it low and so we can take it see that blue flag over to the right that one there yeah, yeah. let's let's keep it on the ground yeah and just try to tumble it up through that little grass bunker. So it kind of the impact wasn't great, but it kind of did what we wanted a little yeah, bit. You yeah, you can, you can kind of, as you go through your session, you can see how attached you are to doing things technically versus how committed you are to doing things through response of, of what whether I'm telling you to do it, you know, hit it low at that or hit it at that tree or hit a little draw with this club. If you can, if you can be freed from technically, how do I do this or make sure I, I use this to do this and just be a pure response to what the command is, which at this point I'm giving it to you, but in tomorrow's round, the golf course is giving it to you. Yeah. So, so as you go through your session, you can kind of, just go, well, gosh, I had my mind all over making sure to tuck my right arm in yeah. to hit this shot. Yeah. Well, we don't want to play golf like that, Yeah. right? We can, we can work on particular components in the golf swing to learn that, but when we play, so as, as you do this, see, you can just kind of measure yourself and go, well, how, how involved am I making sure I do this versus just Hey, hit it low at that blue thing. Okay, give me this club, and I see what I want to do, and you step in there and do it. Right. Without the making sure part, because that that making sure part is what can wreck around a round of golf and make it miserable. Oh yeah, like make sure I keep my wrist back. Make sure I yeah right. I've been working on. I worked on this yesterday, and that's where you know with my wife, she's like, here's twenty bucks, go to Lowe's, yeah. because I would hit chip shots and practice my short game the day before a tournament. Then I'd have that chip shot, and I'd say. Oh, okay. I did this yesterday. Make yeah. sure you do it like yesterday. Right, <laughs> right, right. And what do I do? I wreck it. Yeah. Instead of just a pure response to, okay, it's this. Here's what it is. Boom, done. Number eight. Okay. Driver all day. Okay. Just, just smash it. You can pick a target. It could be any shape you want. Okay. Fairways wide. Okay, just right at that pine tree. Yeah, really good. Yeah, I killed that one. Yeah. That's better. So we'll have, I don't know, 110, 15 yards. Okay, good. A little uphill. Boy, you're long today. You're hitting wedges in all these park fours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right. I think my launch monitor is being <laughs> forgiving. <laughs> okay, uh, all right, so you see the at that blue flag there's kind of like a, before the grass bunker there's kind of a flat so i'll go to, to that right okay yeah okay so this is going to be fairly straight and just slightly down from the highest it could go <laughs> oh 
Nice. Yeah. Aside from the one uh, layup shot you hit in that guy's pool, you're playing a pretty good running ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that would be the thing, though. If I had watched, if I had seen this YouTube video and I had watched it and not had you here, that because hitting it left, like, um, like some other players, hitting it left like drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, I could I could block it way to the right, whatever. But like, if I hit that yank left, it, you know, there's scar tissue and stuff, so I'm a yeah. little nervous about that. Right. <laughs> um, all right, guys. So we're gonna do this same video, only we're gonna do it with Eric, which might be a little bit more interesting. And uh, I'm gonna describe the back nine in El Dorado, which which you're pretty familiar yeah, with, obviously. Yeah, uh, won a lot of money on that golf course. <laughs> Um, in the next video, you guys can contact. How can people get in contact with you? Um, where are we, by the way? We're in Rancho California Golf Course in Murrieta, which is where Eric lives. So. Yeah. Um, usually uh, email mm -hmm. or, or text, and then we can include my numbers. Okay, cool. Text is the best way to get a hold of me. Text or Instagram. So we'll put that in the description to this video. Thanks a lot, Eric. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, nice plan. See you guys. Yeah.